Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna go fly to Zeno. I'm so excited. We get just halfway decent weather. A little cloudy, but it's okay. Ready to go. Let's get to it. the hops and Cena for my birthday. It is now time to go fly my new toy. Here we are. Getting ready to head out there and film guys. Uh, hopefully everything will turn out fine. So let's go. My old stomping ground here. I used to play a lot of soccer right here. The fields are closed right now though. As you guys can see, fields closed. Yep. So we're just gonna head down here in the middle of the soccer fields and should be able to fly. Yeah, I put my Canon M50 in top lapse mode and put it on top of the trash can to be able to capture this time lapse. Now, I've started the application on my phone and this is what it looks like. You gotta enter the device and then you gotta enter the main interface. Since this was my first time using it, I went through the tutorial that taught me how to actually connect to the aircraft, to the, to the uh, controller first and then to the aircraft. So it tells you to power on the transmitter first, hook up the cable, and then you got to pair the aircraft. Yeah, the instructions can be a little confusing. So here I'm going to uh, hit enter main interface, and this is the main interface look so it's telling me that I need to bind my aircraft and to do so it told me to hit the, the settings button which is uh, upper right hand corner okay and it goes through the GPS accuracy test. You got to put the controller right next to the uh, Zeno, the aircraft. And here's when you um, need to buy an aircraft, and you set the transmitter and air aircraft condition. That's where you got to go to. Once you press that, you'll get another menu. Tell you to scan, I believe, from what the instructions said. Ah, refresh. Yes. And there it is. Tap on that. Oh, don't tap on the DU recorder button. Tap on the connect button. There you go. Yeah, so it's telling me, it's recommending me to reboot the aircraft. <laughs> I've been reading for a couple minutes so I was worried about the battery drop levels dropping and this stayed 100% I'm not sure if it was accurate or not but let's continue on okay so now I'm actually getting a video from uh, the camera and um, I'm recording that Started the recording, you can see uh, the numbers are red. Correct. And now I'm in the process of getting a GoPro knockoff to start recording, it, which is mounted on my hat. So once I get that recording started, here we are. 
Okay, well here we are. Okay, so we have about five mile an hour wind coming from that direction, headed this way. Um, put the gimbal down a little bit here, guys, so you can see me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let me do a quick walk around and see how this thing is looking. Looking pretty stable considering the wind's making a move a little bit. not doing bad at all so yeah not bad at all let me turn it this way a little bit and then pull it on back yeah I'm here in Richmond Virginia it's a little cold guys a little bit cold so I'm gonna fly this thing back and up Yeah, that was pretty good, smooth there. Okay, so it says that I'm uh, almost 70 meters away. Let's go ahead and put it 100 meters away and see how the camera looks. And I'm gonna put it 30 meters high. Okay, that's not bad at all, guys. So I'm 115 meters away and 30, 39 meters high. Okay, let's bring it on down and straight at me and see how it does. Yeah, this guy's quick, man. I'm used to flying my spark, and this guy's definitely faster. Okay. Drop it again. This time it's gonna go right on past me. Guys, yeah, getting it. Okay. Here it comes. How's the footage looking, guys? It's not looking too bad. Okay, pull, pull the gimbal down. Oh, a little too much. Need some gimbal sensitivity training, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this guy. There we go. Let's go ahead one more time. Drop it and come on down. Full forward, full drop. And there it goes. OK, 
Okay, it's not bad. It drips a little bit, so the flight controller definitely needs some work. Let's see if we can uh, get it to go up a little bit. See how it does though. Um, okay, I'm gonna do uh, orbit mode and see how it does. Understood. Next. Three two meters. Okay. Okay, so there's their orbit mode. It seems to be doing pretty pretty well. I'm not sure if you guys can see that on my camera. Um, it's definitely going slow. Can I accelerate it? Nope. And if I push it forward, I kind of messed it all up now. Okay, got it. Let me exit this because I think I messed it all up. I uh, yawed on it and uh, and that kind of messed it up. Let's see if we can do a track me mode and see how well it does that. Go ahead and stop that. Okay. Okay. Stop that. Uh, waypoint orbit mode, follow me mode. Okay. Follow me at the track. Alright, so let's see if it follows me. Seems to be doing okay. Go. Oh, it's complaining about my phone having a uh, too many things going at the same time. Yeah, so after track seems it says mobile device CPU performance is poor. Gotcha. So it knows that uh, my phone is struggling. Okay. All right. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's see if we can do waypoint. Okay, record mission planning, okay, draw, okay. And how do you execute it? Done. Submit. Done. Okay. There we go. Okay, so he's going up. Twenty three meters. It looks like it's going to go to the 30 meter mark, I bet. I'm at 31% battery. Okay. Going to waypoint two. Oh, that's cool.
went to and going to waypoint three now. Okay, 30% battery. So it's doing waypoints, so that's good. And it's sitting at 30 30 meters. It's actually very cool. I think I could find some uses for that. Okay, 30% battery. We've been uh, recording for 11 minutes. It's about 35, 36 degrees here. We're expecting snow tomorrow, so. Not the best conditions to fly. So yeah, this thing is doing quite well. Okay. It looks like it completed all the waypoints, so that was pretty cool. Let's see what else I can get it to do. Uh, create a video. Line fly mode. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Angle, 140, distance, let's go 50 meters, speed, go 5.4, preview flight, I'm not sure where it's going, it's going that way, okay, execute. Yeah, we're going to hit and stop. Okay, so... Put it out here in the middle so it won't run into the trees. So it just gave me a warning about battery, 29%. Let's see, line fly mode again. Battery level is only 25%. Okay, can it do it? Right. Now it won't let me do it. Okay. Okay, gotcha. I wasted a lot of time flying, trying to get this thing bound correctly. I found out my, I have a second phone. I was going to fly the Spark and uh, and the Zeno at the same time, but it just didn't work right. And we're interfering with each other, so I burnt a lot of battery trying to get this to work. Let me see if I could just do a quick flight. Coming home. I think this thing is coming home, guys. At 21%. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I see the arrow on my uh, display here. Coming home. Let's see what is it? Way up there. Let's see how accurate it is. Coming down now. It's chilly out here. Well, it's, it's definitely gonna be way off. I don't know. It's adjusting. There's the spot where it needs to land. So it's going to be like 10 feet off. Stop recording. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a 20% battery. And so let's take a look. One. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine feet. Nine feet from. Uh, so it's there. And it should have landed there. Okay. Not bad. Ten feet. Could have been worse. All right, let's see if we can get another flight. I have one more battery in it. I made this case for it today. Uh, got the case at Harbor Freight. And uh, I cut it all out and everything fits in here real nice. So you got the controller here, the, you got the drone here, uh, the battery, cables, charger, and uh, See a screwdriver and extra props, and I still have room here for additional batteries. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Let's put it back and let's see if we can burn through another battery. Okay, it looks like they're solid. I'm gonna start the app. Come on. There we go. I am going to enter device. Enter main interface. And connect the cable. Okay. here. Make sure the Wi-Fi is connected. Yep, it's, it's, it's on. It's connecting now. Okay, that's good. So, let's get back to the app. Let's see if that works. There. Bind aircraft to the device, yes. Okay, do a GPS calibration. This is good, good. Okay, so let's see what's next. So we passed that test, and so let's. This parent bind device is bounded. GPS accuracy. I think it's good to go. Let's give it a go. Switch to camera. Do recording. Okay. And let's see if we can get this thing going. There it is. Okay, second battery. I know I had some uh, settings for speed. Put this guy out here. Seemed to be wandering a little bit. Okay. Gimbal status, okay. Okay. Firmware, gimbal, aircraft, joysticks, controls, transmitter, map, others, horizontal compass, gimbal, mount. Okay, not that. Aircraft model, waypoints. Okay, 
Not that. Oopsie. Yeah, well, I go through the menu, and my first impressions of the uh, of Tenzino are very positive. First battery, uh, 15 minutes flight time, uh, with about four minutes of trying to learn how to bind and uh, get the interface going. But uh, overall, it's very fast, responsive. The camera is unbelievable, and I just can't wait to get the firmware update to, to see what the new capabilities of the camera are. Change the ISO, change maybe the frame rate. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Yeah, let's get it up in the air and move. Put it right here. Put it that way. And this line flight thing. Okay. Angle of degrees, zero. Let's try that. Distance. Okay. Speed. Okay. Execute. Okay, so I get it. So we use ace zero degrees. Is it goes straight? Okay. It just hit stop here in a second. Okay, it hit stop all by itself. So if I turn around. Drop it a little bit. <clears throat> Line flight mode zero. I'm gonna tell it to go a hundred meters, and this time we'll tell it to go really fast. Preview flight. Okay, it's gonna go right by my head. Execute, and here it comes. Thing. Did you guys see that uh, red flash about 10 seconds ago? That's nice. You can move the camera. Okay. One more shot at it. Let's see if it does. Line flight mode. 100 meters. Zero degrees. Okay. Preview. Yeah, it's going to go right by me. This time. Okay, that could be useful. Okay, create a video, follow me mode, we did that. Orbit mode, we did that. Um, do I have anything else? Normal mode, okay. Where's the speed control? How fast can you go? Hmm. What is that setting? No calculate point.
Oh yeah, I can see the city skyline right now. Very hard to see on this uh, display, but you can see it. Oh, the red flash again. What the heck? Oh, I see uh, 95 right there. What a great view. See 195 too. Wow. Crazy view. Very nice. The colors are good. Very impressed. For 369, I, this guy is a keeper. Love it. It's definitely going to get more flight time than it. Spark. Faster. Longer time. Better camera. Reaction gimbal. Can't beat that. What do you think, guys? Nice, huh? Yeah, it's way over up there. Should be able to see the city. See how the, it does on the horizon. 40% battery. Try to slow down. Looks like the horizon's off a little bit, guys. I'll have to do that calibration. See if we can slow it down. Slowed it down the, the yaw. Okay. Bring it around again. Oh, not that fast. Okay. Alright. And drop it full speed down. Bring it forward a little bit. Didn't mean to do it that fast. That's better. Yeah, it looks like the horizon's off though. You can see it there pretty well. Okay, we'll stop there. Point it straight down. And you can see where I'm at.
you could definitely get it to uh, walk out. Put in headless mode by accident. I think I'm just going to fly around a little bit some more. Just have some fun. Head over toward the trees here. Recording time. Oh yeah, there's uh, 95 right there. Yeah, this thing definitely is smooth. Love flying it. Easy to do. I just wish it wasn't so cold out here. Yeah, this thing is definitely a smooth flyer. Let's check out this car below us. Let's see if we can track it. That'd be a good exercise. Thirty-five percent battery. Let's see if we can follow this guy. sliding sideways seems to be doing okay with that car. Yeah, it does a good job. Battery low, warning at 30%. Tracking the car seems sliding sideways so that y'all gimbal working well guys. Slow it down a little bit here. He's got to come to a stop sign. It does well. Let's turn left. Okay. And I kind of lost track of them there. Spin around. Should pop through there. Yep. Three, three, almost 300 meters away. Okay, very cool. Transmission's still working well. Okay, 30. 30 or so. 30%. Been running for 15 minutes and it's cold out here. Okay, I might just run it back right straight at me. There's different models, you know, and this one only does a uh, thousand meter one kilometer. Okay. So let's say, what are the longest range ones? Like, sort of 
suitable for home ownership, I guess. Yeah, this is uh, sub $400. Uh, you get it to the $1,500, over $1,000 drones, you get them four miles away, but the FAA regulates you to be in line of sight. Uh, so, got to be able to see four miles, that's pretty good sight. <laughs> <laughs> you, I carry a pair of binoculars, I can always say I have it in line of sight, you know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha. But it's pretty cool. No, I can imagine. Amazing how this industry has taken off in the last five years. I know. I mean, look at us here. So that's us right here. You can see. Uh, oh my God! You see that? Look at that. Right. So I'm going to drop it and just look at us. Right. All right. All right. So it's just going to. How tricky is? Oh, there it is. How tricky is it to learn? Yeah, you could crash easy. I remember talking to some guy that was here, he says there's different models and some have so many safeguards built into them now that, I mean certain this models. This one has no collision detection. Yeah, and he was saying those are the harder ones to fly. So yeah. you're, you're a little bit more expert, I guess. And I think it was just coming home. Like the one in the blue case there, that one's got collision detection. It, and it's the entry level one for a company called DJI. Uh -huh. This one is called Hubson is the company. They just released this, I pre-ordered it. Henry, get over here before you get in trouble. Henry, come here. Let's see, how are you, Henry? Uh -huh. Look at Henry. So I'm- oh, Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, dude, this thing's landing. No, no. <laughs> Careful, I'll hurt you. Uh, 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 they'll hurt you. <laughs> they'll hurt you. That's all right. Everything's okay now. <laughs> they'll hurt you. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, you can see that this this one here. I got Well, the camera got all messed up, but oh, okay, I got it. Tilt it up. Yeah. So, see the gimbal? I want to turn the camera up and look at you. Okay. You see it? Uh -huh. I moved a bird, but this thing is locked on you. Okay. So it's on a gimbal. So that is the one that sort of gives it stability and go out. This through. one, yeah, that, that's how you get the stability on the camera. Okay. But it's not for the thing itself, it's just for the camera. Yeah, er everything else is done through GPS. So this one, it was locked on to 16 G uh, uh, satellites. So I'll lock on to the GLONASS with the Russian system and I'll lock on to the US systems. Hmm, fascinating. It is fascinating, yeah. So one, one time I have this house down in Costa Rica and I was always thinking it'd be fun to sort of photo you know how people are in the business. Yeah, yeah.